because I mean a lot of presentations and things that I see it's it's here is the the product here's the features and benefits here's the price if you have any questions and there's no you, the audience are just sat there on the phones playing that they, they don't care they're not engaged they know what's coming and and so yeah is it stories that make the difference or is there some kind of other magic that um, yeah you can the, the, the magic is it's very simple it's got to be relevant to that audience mm -hmm. to that audience and the number of times that i watch corporate presentations and and people will say uh oh actually no that i'll take that slide that's not relevant for you i'll skip over that i'll skip over that immediately that makes me and the audience think this isn't bespoke for me mm -hmm. right you're giving a generic presentation I, i'm not interested in generic right i want to feel that you've come and you're speaking just to me right because that's what all audiences want you know and um so we, we've got to make it relevant to the audience and if we if we think so what i try to say to people is answer the question that that audience is likely to be asking Right. That, so the, the, the question that audience is most likely expecting you to answer, answer that first. And the number of CEOs I work with, I would work a lot with sort of CEOs and presidents of companies and stuff. And they'll say, OK, can I do, the, do my speech for you? And I'll say, OK, go for it. And normally, and, and this is interesting, it's normally 10 percent of the time scale in. So if it's a 20 minute speech, it's about two minutes in. They'll say, so I suppose the real question is, and I've said, OK, can we start with that? Can we start with the real question? Right. Yeah. Can we? lose the waffle beforehand, right? Because we don't need the full, often the two minutes beforehand. If they stand up and they, they nail it right in the first sentence there, yeah? So they stand up and they say, so I suppose the real question you're asking yourselves is this. If it's the right question, you'll get the whole audience going, yeah, that's it. You've got them, right? But that's the only homework you have to do. You don't have to do huge amounts of homework on presentations, but you've got to understand the question that that audience wants. That, that's the thing. And you've got to try and do your homework on that one.